Hi, welcome to this SSRS tutorial video and today we're going to look at hiding and showing information when exporting to XML. So um, there is an option to export um, report data maybe to a PDF or to a Word document or an Excel document and also you can export it to XML. In some cases um, it may be that you don't want certain information to be exported to XML and in some cases maybe you you want information that might not be exported to be exported to XML. So I'm going to go through a few examples. First of all let's have a little look at, um, at the export to XML in action. So I've got a, a basic report here and in this little drop down here I've got options of um, exporting formats and one of them is called XML so if I click on that it takes me to a folder and says um, do you want to export it here and I'll just say yeah I do I'll rename it to version 1 click Save and then here's one I've prepared earlier but this is um, the exported report in XML so you can see if we just go back to the XML uh, this is this first table here has got four columns but one column is completely blank and then this table here has got four columns all of them um, being completed and if we go to the XML we can see that um, you've got this table one at the top tablix one and you've got the in the XML format, you've got um, it, it tries to tell you what the data is that it's showing. So you've got the job title, the last name, and the first name. What you're missing here is the title um, because there isn't any data in the titles of the first table, so it's just missed it off. In the second table here, you've got the job title, the last name, first name, and the title here, and the values in it. Um, and you'll notice as well that this isn't necessarily in the same format as the the data in the report. So in this one, it's title, first name, last name, job title. Uh, and when we go here, it's in reverse. Okay, so sometimes you'll want to export it to XML4. I mean, there's various reasons for doing that. Um, but in some cases, you might have information on the report that you do not want to export to XML. So let us go through that as an example. Let's go back to the report. Let's add um, some more detail in the uh, report on this first tablix here. Create a new column and we will add the phone number. And we'll do it on the second one as well. So if I got the phone number, let's just make sure that there's actually data in here. There's some data. And I'm going to export this to XML. We'll call it version three, a uh, version two rather. And now, if I go to look at version two, um, I'm doing this in a different window. So one second. It's just opening up. Okay, so here now you can see phone number is appearing here. Um, what I want is I want to show the phone number in the report, but I don't want to see it in the XML output. So to do that, if I go to my design, um, I'm going to do it in one of the tablets and not the other. So I'll leave the phone in the bottom one, but in the top one, I'm going to hide it. So what you do is you highlight the um, field that you want to hide or the um, column if you go to properties um, you've got this output data element output option here and if you say no output then if we go to preview we should be able to see the phone number there it is but now for the upper Tablix, if I export this to XML as version 3, we should not see the output for the upper table. So let's see if that's worked. 
There you go. So there's version three. The telephone numbers are not showing here, but they are showing here. Now you can do kind of the reverse here as well. So let us now say here, this column, I don't want to see it. So I'm going to make this column hidden. Now the column, um, if I preview it, it will not display in the report. Um, oops, did I do the full tablet? Sorry, I think I did the wrong. Sorry, let me do that again. Column visibility and hide it. So now if I do a preview, we don't see that phone column. However, now that I've got that column highlighted, if I go to properties, in my data element output, I can say output. And when I preview it, you won't see it here. But when I, when I export it to XML, so we'll do this in version four. There it is. So this is version four. It didn't appear in the um, in the actually actual report, but we set the output to say yes, we want to see it in the XML output, and there are the values. So this here, this data element output, if it's set to auto. If you're hiding something, but well, it won't be output. If you're showing it, then it, sh it will be output. But if you're hiding it and you want to see it, then you've got to put the output. If you're showing it, but you don't want to see it in the XML export, then you've got to mark it as no output. And you're not limited to doing it um, in in columns. You can do it for whole tables. So you can say this whole table. Um, I don't. I want to. Um, I want to say I don't want to see it. So no output for the whole table. So now if I preview that, yes, we see it here with the setup that we've set up at kind of the, the granular level saying, don't show me this column. But when we look at this, we shouldn't see the table at all. second there it is so the table is hidden because we said no output on the table at the table level and that's the end of this video um, I hope you find it helpful if you've got any comments or feedback please anything it's all appreciated thanks very much for your time see you next time